let's get you to the charts. And to do that, you're going to want to go up to the products tab at the top, select charts, and within a matter of seconds, the chart will pop up in front of you. Now on every chart, you can zoom in or zoom out by using your mouse. Simply roll the mouse wheel, or if you have a laptop, use two fingers to drag inward and outward to perform a zoom in or zoom out. In addition, what's really important about this video now is to make sure you understand the basics that's happening around the chart. Now keep in mind, this video is made for new members of TradingView, but if you are an expert at TradingView, you can sit back and relax and get a full refresher. Keep in mind, in this playlist, we'll have videos from the most basic topics to the most advanced for the true pro traders, but let's dive in here. Your drawing tools are off to the left and the drawing tools are used for technical analysis. They're used for planning trades with the long and short position tool. And of course, it's really as easy as we are demonstrating on this video, which is selecting the drawing tool that you need and then using your mouse to click and apply that tool to the chart itself. So your drawing tools are right over here to the left. At the top of the chart, well, this is where you can really start to understand how the TradingView charts work, including the symbol search. You see, we just clicked the symbol search box and you can type in any company name or symbol or cryptocurrency or Forex pair, uh, indices, bonds, economy, all of the options you can see here at the tabs at the top are available to you. And just to demonstrate, we're going to type in AAPL, which is the symbol for Apple. And now we can click Apple and now we have an Apple chart. Moving onward, you can see that we have different time frames. Depending on what type of investor or trader you are, you can view a chart down to the second. So each interval here is one second or of course by the minutes, hours, or let's go back to what is standard, a daily chart. Many of you love candlestick charts, so at the top here is where the chart types are. You can click that drop down and select anything from this menu. Why don't we switch to the popular candlestick charts and now we have a candlestick chart of Apple. This indicators tab is where you can add indicators. You can use the search box to quickly type in moving average. So if you're a technical trader, you can find your moving averages, but also keep in mind for the fundamental investors, you can chart fundamental metrics. We typed in revenue. We can click total revenue to instantly see the revenue available to us. There are tabs here as well for you to learn more. All right, let's keep this video rocking and rolling. Now there are indicator templates, which we will make a more advanced video on. But for now, you can save indicator templates specifically for you. So all the moving averages or Bollinger Bands appear on your chart with one click. Alerts, you're going to want to make alerts your best friend because alerts are how you set an alert about a symbol. Say, for example, you want to see a specific price set that alert, sit back, wait for that alert to trigger. And keep in mind over here to the right, which we'll get to, there is an alerts menu and log where you can track all of your alerts perfectly. Okay, let's keep it moving. Here's bar replay. For those who like to back test, you can go back in time on any chart. That's right. Go back in time. You can click play and now you can trade this moment in real time and that is how you get started with bar replay. Of course, it's up to you on how you want to use bar replay, whether it's for paper trading, for practice, or just for information and research. Now, as we move along, your multi chart layouts can be found right here. You can see multiple charts on one screen. You can save, share, rename, and create charts from this layouts drop down. There's quick search, so you can quickly find specific tools or functions on the chart. There's a settings menu, there's a full screen mode, there's a snapshot mode, and of course there is a publish button where you can publish your research to our social network. Let's keep going because the tools on the right are where you're going to really want to understand because there is a watch list tab. You can add up to 100, you know, 100 plus symbols to your watch list and build the most perfect watch list for yourself so that you can see every symbol that you're interested in, including some symbol details down here. As we mentioned, your alerts 
box is right here. And as you keep moving down, there's the data window, hot list, calendar, ideas, chats, idea stream, live streaming videos, and of course your own personal notifications for the social network. So if you are interested in your watch list and tracking symbols, be sure to master this watch list button, master your alerts, and then of course the whole way down, you have some very effective social tools. So we're making our way around the entire chart and we're gonna wrap up here by showing you some features at the very bottom. Let us start with the trading panel because the trading panel is how you connect directly to a broker that you use, that you like, or that you're already signed up with, and then trade and execute charts from the chart in real time. You can even paper trade. So paper trade is no real money is on the line. It's just a practice. It's a demo account, and you can connect to our paper trading engine. The strategy tester is how you test out your strategy to see how well you would have performed in the past if you traded a specific way and the strategy tester should be used primarily to understand if your trading strategy is effective or not, or to explore the entire market and all the different trading styles and to see if they actually would have worked. The Pine Editor, well, this is for those who know how to code. It is those who want to code their own scripts for trading, whether it's an indicator made from scratch just for you or an automated trading strategy. Dive into PineScript to learn all of that and to write out your trading style or your indicator in lines of code. This is huge if you are a coder or you follow coding and we wanna direct you to this user manual because when you click this user manual, we have a free guide with countless amounts of information to get you started with PineScript. Lastly, we want to make sure that you know the stock screeners down here because you can have a chart open simultaneously while screening for the stocks of your choice. Or if you click the drop down, you can screen for Forex pairs or cryptocurrency pairs. So you can chart and screen specifically in any way that you want at the same exact time. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the chart. We started with how you get here from tradingview.com. Then we walked you through how the basics of zooming in and out, of moving the chart left to right, all of the drawing tools, the search box, as well as the time frames and chart types at the top. Don't forget about alerts. The settings menu so that you can make specific updates to your chart change the color, change the style, everything under the sun related to charting in terms of making your own customizations is here. The watch list alerts and all the social tools as well as the bottom here, which has some really interesting capabilities as well from paper trading to the strategy tester, to the pine editor, to the stock screener. Now we know that was a lot, but if you're new to TradingView, this video should kick off your journey right away. So thank you so much for watching.